More than 70 people died in that tornado outbreak. Despite the time passed, Kentuckians have not lost their passion for helping with the state's tornado disaster relief. Danielle Miskell was at Lex Arts, where an art project's underway to continue raising money for those counties impacted. A couple days after the tornado, a friend of mine from LexArts gave me a call and said, I have this amazing idea. Then, Independence Bank purchased three porcelain horses, one for Warren County, one for Graves County, and one for Hopkins County, all devastated by the deadliest December tornado in U.S. history. We started thinking about horses, and could we get one into each community? Lex Arts crowdsourced artists to submit an artistic vision for each horse. The helping hands are high school students from each disaster county. Caitlin Gilbert said she was in her basement with her family when the tornado ripped through Dawson Springs. Now she's here to help raise money to rebuild the baseball and softball fields in her hometown. I'd like to see what we could make out of what happened, what could regrow and what could come back because we want to pay attention to the beauty that's still there. Liliansko lives in Mayfield and is helping paint this horse with inspiration by Van Gogh. The, the starry night with all like the, the wind and the swirls, like that kind of references to the tornado. Like the sunflowers on the legs and stuff show like a bright future. This horse will help rebuild the Ice House Gallery of Graves County. The design of this Tiffany Teal horse was inspired by artist Lennon Mikowski. Helping him is Sam Lowe, a senior at Bowling Green High School. It's his first time working on an art piece, but he's invested. And that was actually my idea to put it on to symbolize healing and growth and recovery. This horse will help raise funds for the Family Resource Centers in Warren County Schools. Just as the community is growing and recovering from the storm. So the symbolism is perfect with the flowers, I think. The students will have finished their part this evening, but once the horses make it back to their hometowns, it will always remind them of how they helped rebuild their community. So the ones that are going to see this rebuild, and this rebuild is going to be what they experience the rest of their lives. Danielle Miskell, Fox 56 News.